Hi friends, I am Balaji Rao. Welcome to BR Max class. In this class, we will do the proof of this result. What is this result? Integral of e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx equal to e power x into f of x plus c. To know the proof of this result, we need to discuss few things here. See, we learn integration formulas. What is integral of cos x dx? We learn this formula. What is integral of cos x dx? Integral of cos x dx equal to sin x plus c. Why we are writing integral of cos x dx equal to sin x plus c? Because in the beginning of integration chapter, we learned that from the definition of antiderivative, we got this. See, if you differentiate this, derivative of sin x plus c is cos x. If you want, you check here. Derivative derivative of sin x plus c is derivative of sin x plus derivative of c. Here c is constant. Derivative of sin x is cos x plus derivative of constant is 0. Cos x plus 0 is cos x. If you differentiate sin x plus c, you are getting cos x. Because of that reason, we are saying that integral of cos x dx is sin x plus c. Similarly, you see one more formula integral of secant square x dx. This formula also we learn in integration. Integral of secant square x dx is what? Integral of secant square x dx is tan x plus c. Why we got this formula? Because derivative of tan x plus c is secant square x. If you want, you can check here. Derivative of tan x plus c. How we differentiate this? Derivative of tan x plus derivative of constant. Derivative of tan x is secant square x plus derivative of constant is 0. Secant square x plus 0 is secant square x. That's why we say integral of secant square x dx is tan x plus c. Here, to prove this result, I'll use the definition of antiderivative. What I'll do, I'll differentiate this part. You observe here, e power x into f of x plus c. After a differentiation, if I got that e power x into f of x plus f dash of x, then I can write that integral of e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx equal to e power x into f of x plus c. Now, you differentiate this expression, e power x into f of x plus c. Derivative of e power x into f of x plus c. How we differentiate this derivative of this expression plus derivative of constant. Okay, d by dx of e power x into f of x plus d by dx of constant. Derivative of e power x into f of x. We use product rule to differentiate this. What is product rule? This is product rule. u into derivative of v plus v into derivative of u. Here u is what? e power x into derivative of f of x d by dx of f of x plus f of x into derivative of e power x d by dx of e power x. Okay. Plus derivative of constant. We know that derivative of constant is 0. That equal to e power x into derivative of f of x. What is derivative of f of x? Derivative of f of x is denoted by f dash of x plus f of x into derivative of e power x. We know the formula for derivative of e power x. What is derivative of e power x? Derivative of e power x is e power x only. Now, here you can observe here, I can take e power x common. You take e power x common. If you take e power x common, here what is remaining here? Here f of x is remaining. Okay. Here what is remaining if you take e power x common? f dash of x is remaining. So what you came to know here? Derivative of e power x into f of x plus c equal to e power x into f of x plus f dash of x. So you observe here derivative of this expression is e power x into f of x plus f dash of x. From this what we can write from this we can write that therefore integral of e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx equal to e power x into f of x plus c. This we did by using the definition of antiderivative. Antiderivative is also known as integral.